a farmer lost their goats few days after stalking them. Feeding your goats the first week that you bring them can kill a number of them or can kill the full stock of them. I've seen a farmer who've lost 10 out of 20 goats they bought, and these are premium goats. A goat going for around $1,500. You can guess or you can see how much they've lost. And the loss is simply because of failure to observe few tactics or few feeding procedures. When, some, when we buy these goats, I'll take an example of my goat or of my breeding stock. Those asking, my breeding stock is purely Gala. I've started with Gala goat. When we are bringing these goats, we, they usually come sometimes from dry areas. And also when they are traveling, they takes around two to three days while traveling. Those who are importing theirs from uh, different countries, they take a number of days before they reach home. So the very time they reaches your home, they they are they, they, they are they are stressed and also they are in need of food. And that is the time now many farmers or quite a good number of farmers have killed their goat through a condition called entero. Toxemia. What is entrotoxemia? Entrotoxemia is a disease that kills goat and it's a condition, not a disease, it's a condition that kills goat because of a bacteria in the gut. For more clarification, you can consult your, your vet because this is now uh, what causes goes beyond the farming, uh, our farming ideas. Personally, I'm a farmer, not a vet. But entrotoxemia is what has killed many farmers' goat. All because you brought your goat and started feeding them with a lot of green matter. You've started giving them a lot of nutritious food. You've started giving them the best. So when they eat, they eat a sieve. It's their first time they are, they are seeing this food. And what follows is the blotting. Due to the bacteria in the gut, it causes blotting. And that blotting is now what now blinds in the poisoning and ends the disease entrotoxemia and end up killing your goat. And this marks 15 days after I brought my goats. There is none of them that is showing a sign of weakness. They live alone dying, live alone uh, having a, a, a bad, a bad uh, fever or anything else. There is none of them that is showing any sign of entrotoxemia or any sign of, of weakness. All because I've been able to, approach, to give them a good approach of, of feeding. Other than going for training to learn about the feeds that I'm supposed to prepare for my goat, I also went to far, farm to farm trying to see how they are feeding. And in my journey, I discovered that the very first time you bring your goat, and this is what I want you to learn, the type of feed you give to them is matters a lot. As you can see, you can observe in this uh, goat shed, we, we've been feeding for the last few days, for the last few days, So they, but they cannot feed on these at the moment because they have stepped on them, urinated on them. We've been feeding them on many dry roughages. We've been feeding them on on a dairy meal where we are we are I'm making my own dairy meal by uh, formulating my own uh, feed and also we've been feeding them on grazing on on shrubs and without forgetting the less feeding them on green matters all on on uh, uh, few green color, uh, green matters. The reason why you are observing this type of feeding on daily basis, where there is dry matter, there is dairy meal, there is browsing in the field, and there is few grazing in the field, is for them to be able to balance what is in their stomach. The lafages may not be very nutritious to the goats as of now, but it saves the goat from 
broating. It saves the goat from overfeeding in the field where, like for example, in this section where we have skumawiki, if you bring uh, a goat that has not fed for many days in this section, they end up feeding excessively, feeding skumawiki, and bloating. You can see even their feeding pattern where they are, they are selecting, they are not feeding on skumawiki, they are selecting few grasses. They are selecting grass and leaving the less. Or because when we brought them here, they on the lady fed on different lafages that took a portion of their stomach, and now they cannot, they, 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 are, they cannot feed this excessively. But you, if you take them from the, from the house or from where you buy them, bring them to this unit, they are going to feed excessively, and you will experience the dangerous disease which may lead to kill them. On top of that, this is for the veterinary advice on uh, use only. You need to call your vet to treat them or to vaccinate them against enterotoxemia, the very day you receive your goat, or a few days after receiving your goat. And for those who buy their goat from dry areas, don't also forget to introduce the leaking salt to them or also the, the blocks. And this will also make them feel like they are in their natural habitat because they are from the dry area, they are from the semi-arid. For example, I brought my goat here from arid areas to semi-arid areas. And I had to do these things for at least 10 days to, for them to adopt. Though I'm not fully assured or I'm not, not fully sure whether these they have already adopted, but I can assure you they are at good position now to go feed without much fear of poisoning and enterotoxemia. Hope you've learned something from our this topic. And if you want more about good farming, don't forget to talk to me via this number. Don't forget to lie to me via this email address. And also, you can book a visit to our farm and learn more about good farming, learn more about managing the good till to the success. This is a success story and this is my African dream.